Welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss the Smart Dimension tool. I can access the Smart Dimension from the toolbar here. I can also click here, go to Tools, Dimensions, and select the Smart, or by clicking in the graphic area and select Smart Dimension. I can press S key on the keyboard. And select smart dimension or by right clicking on the graphic area and drag my mouse upwards the smart dimension is called smart because it can automatically recognize what i'm going to measure for example it recognizes when i'm going to measure lines press escape it recognizes when i'm going to measure a circle and also recognize when I'm going to measure an angle. It's also recognized when the light has an angle and you can measure a line from different angles. So for example, you can measure this line from horizontal position, vertical position, and the true dimension of the lines. As I'm moving my mouse around, you can see that the the dimension is changing. Once you're happy with the position of your Smart Dimension tool, you can lock this position by pressing the right click on the mouse. Now, whenever you turn the, the mouse, this position has locked. To unlock this position, you can press again right click on the mouse. Press Escape. I'm going to show you some tricks in this video. For example, let's measure this uh, rectangle. By the way, um, I'm measuring in millimeters. You can see that from here. You can change the dimensions from here as well. Press this arrow and you can choose any um, unit measure you want. <clears throat> okay millimeters now if you already measure your line you can update your your dimensions by double click on this number let's say 50 now if you don't want to measure again this line if you want this line to be 50 again you can just press escape click on this line hold control key on the keyboard and select make equal now if you want your circle to have the same size select the smart dimension let's say I, I want the circle to be 50 as well if you want your circle to be attached on the lines this is one way to do it press escape click on this line here I press delete to delete the smart dimension click on this circle to delete it select this point hold control key select this point here and make them coincident now another way to attach the circle on this line is to click on this circle Hold Control key on the keyboard and select this line here. Make them tangent. Select a circle. Draw a circle here. As you can see at the right hand side of the mouse, you can see the radius. With this way, you can roughly put uh, a number here if you already know the, the dimension that you are working on, you can put your radius as close as you want to the real number. Press escape again, select smart dimension, click on this point and this end point here, click again on the graphic area the smart tool dimension 
it allows you to select your value your number you can type your value from here you can just click a number that you want you can change the number from the thumb wheel like so you can change the value from here or if you have to add numbers to find the total length of something you can just delete everything here press the backspace on the keyboard and let's say my total length is 20 plus 5 press enter you can work out like this you can easily change this value by dragging this circle like this or by changing the, the the point that the smart dimension is attached to so for example you want to measure the circle from here you can the one way is to delete the this smart dimension or the other way is simply just click on this um, line click on this rectangular shape here and just click and drag it to this point if you want this point to be from the other side just click here on this line click and drag it to the other side like so select smart dimension let's say that I need this line to be 90 degrees I can always use a smart dimension and type 90 degrees here press escape or another way is to select this line hold down the control key on the keyboard and select this line here and make them perpendicular if you want this line to be horizontal like this one here you can always click on this line here and select horizontal thanks for watching see you in a tutorial